Hello! And welcome to On the Go with Mo. I'm Mo, and now you know. So, welcome to the show. Let's go. Hello, my. Hunter Hunter. Hunter, heel. Heel. Hunter. Hunter, Hunter. Hunter, Hunter. 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 Hunter, Hunter. Hunter, Hunter. Hunter, Hunter. 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 All right, screw you. Baby. 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 Baby, baby, baby. Baby, 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 baby. Baby, baby, baby. 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 Come on. Baby. Now, well, I shall be popping by in a minute. Baby, baby. Hey, hey. Those are my headphones. Baby. 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 Oh, shit. Where are you? Where are you? Hi. It's me. My headphones. My headphones would be great. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Ow. Mbalo. Yeah, much better. So today's going to be an awesome, awesome day. Uh, Ashley's on the way. She should be here almost any minute. Uh, I lose track of time easily. I've got the horses fed, chickens fed, half a sink Ajax. Hi. Holy crap. Oh. <laughs> Dog, you are by and far the weirdest thing. Look at me. Ow. Hi. She's a little ball of energy. She's like literally not leaving me alone. Watch this. Bella. 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 Where'd you go? <laughs> she went away. She just, I've had enough of this. This is probably going to be enough here. Oh, God, I'm so tired. Actually, I'm not really tired. I'm just like exhausted. This is the uh, tail end of the cold, and the tail end of the cold is great. Wunderbar. Wonderful. So tired, eh? Yep. Yep. Oh, I'm so wet down. It really is a nice day out today. Not too hot, not too cold. Perfect time in the morning. I was, I was about to say perfect time of the month, but eh. It's never really a perfect time of the month. 
on the morning, which is really kind of weird. It's usually between like nine and ten. So yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be a thing, right? Always gonna be a thing. And there she is. Woo! -woo. <laughs> All right, that's what the matter. Up and up and up. All right. Okay. <coughs> of course, I start coughing. It's all right. As soon as I'm turning off. That's all right.
zombie, then they're made to be, you know, eating people. But we aren't going to be that family. <laughs> no. Just remember. <laughs> Although, you don't know what could happen in five years. I mean, yeah. I mean it's, it's, Umbrella Corp could let go. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? Agent? Agent. X? Agent. What's the name of the, um, from the Umbrella Corp police? Is it Venom? Oh. Oh yeah, the T virus. T virus, yeah. yeah. So I mean, T virus could be like an actual real thing. Yeah. So I mean, hey, we we could be a damn zombies. Just remember, <laughs> for billions of people worldwide, death is the end. That's how it's supposed to be. But for zombies, it isn't the end. If you're a zombie, ask your doctor if shotgunia is right for you.
Mark some. Mark some. <laughs> I don't even know how that applies, but hey. It does. Uh, we were talking to you about um, um, the families. You know, and kind of how like uh, the, like the internet. And yeah. Like, internet access on it. Yeah. Not 
not with her 10. Like, I wouldn't, I don't think 10 would be a good, I think that'd be too young to let them have like free reign of the internet. Okay, so, uh, introduce them and prevent them. Right, well no, so, I'm not saying. like first would be leapfrog. Right. So, that would. Oh, those things are amazing. Yeah. They're, they're exactly like little iPads for kids, but they're freaking way more durable. Yeah. That thing has been dropped in the grocery store more times than I can count. Yeah. So, leapfrog first. Then a cell phone. Uh, but a cheap cell phone. Well, leapfrog at like know. three. With, yeah, uh, two. Actually, Sarah started using hers at two. At seven. Uh, let them play around on your uh, iPad phone. And then at, I want to say, 11, 12. Uh, actually, 10. Give, give them their first phone that allows them to like text and make calls. Right. And then, Maybe a few apps, but not yeah, like a full. Few, not like full. full search the web for anything. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I guess with parental control now, you can control the content and stuff. Oh, yeah. And uh, at <laughs> 13, uh, then graduate them to like a full on... To like an actual real cell phone? Yeah. That... You know, I didn't get a cell phone until I was like a sophomore in high school. I didn't get a cell phone until I was like 25. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I was like a sophomore in high school. Um, so, yeah. And then, as for laptops, like, oh my god, laptops are so ingrained into uh, society nowadays. I prefer desktops. You do? Yeah, I do. I prefer desktops. They always uh, seem to just operate better. But uh, maybe I just don't have the right laptop. Um, well, uh, laptop access at any like the earlier you introduce them, I love to vacation parties, sweet drinks, and such. Oh, that's an awesome shirt. Mm. Anyways, um, like the sooner you introduce them to a, like a laptop mm -hmm. and whatnot, uh, the better. Like I said. I, oh I, yeah, like, well introducing them. Yeah. It's different though when they own it themselves because then they have more freedom to kind of go and do. Whatever. Well, that's why you have parental uh, right. controls that True. you can like uh, block certain uh, sites. sites. Yeah. Such as porn. <laughs> I mean, eventually. Well, and, and I mean, now though, on the internet, there's a lot more than just porn out there that you have to be careful oh, about your kids God. watching. Uh, seriously, the, a big thing for me, I've been watching a series on Netflix, and it's really sad. And uh, it didn't even t really get into it all that much, but it's called 13 Reasons. Did you reasons? see it? It just came out. Uh, no, I have been on Netflix now. It's about uh, teen suicide, and it's really sad. And I don't know, it made me think a lot about the effects of like social media and... Oh yeah, cyberbullying. And all, exactly, cyberbullying and all that. And that one didn't even touch on it that much. And that's another, that's, that's actually like, uh, another thing too. And that's the thing that like... Uh, talk to them about. Yeah, like well there, obviously, yeah. There are going to be kids out there who for whatever reason either for the lulls of it to see someone else uh, in pain gives them a sense of joy joy that's called schadenfreude. That's called what? Uh, schadenfreude. Oh, uh-huh. Um, and the easiest <laughs> way to get around that is to simply take the power away from them. Like, be absolutely brave about your mistakes or what own it yeah if you own it they can't yeah, make if, fun of it anymore because because it doesn't bother you so what's the point of them making fun of you if it if it doesn't bother you yeah if you take the power away from them and you take the power back into your own hands yeah it, 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 you just own it <laughs> yeah for instance but if that's not always easy for teenagers no it's not it still hurts okay. they're they're a uh, Reputation is everything to So, them. I have a really high forehead. I've always had a really high forehead. <laughs> it's like five feet tall. That's why it's really high. It doesn't smoke weed. It's low. Um, it doesn't smoke weed? No, it doesn't. Oh, play. okay. No, Did someone jokes. say that? No. It's like, your forehead's really high. I need to call the cops because I think it's on weed. 
Um, but that's the best joke I've heard, and it's great because it came from you. <laughs> That's uh, the perfect example of owning it. Yes, yes. <laughs> like that, take that away from it. Because if they try to make fun of you for it, just just be like, just be like, oh, you're another good thing to do. Oh, you're trying to start beef with me? Bitch, I'm going to throw you out on an entire cow farm. Oh, <laughs> get ready because Farmer McMee is coming to town and y'all stank ass D grade beef ain't USDA approved. Mine is. You try to throw shade at me, boy, I throw you into a fucking black hole. You might be blocking the white light because, but I am fucking crushing this fight to a goddamn singularity. Oh, of infinite denseness. You might have been, ado been adopted by me memes, but I was born in it, raised in it. By the time I was a man, Nyan Cat had shown me the light of day. Oh! This is the new equivalent of saying, when I was a kid, I had to walk to school, uphill both ways, in the snow. What you just said is the new equivalent of that. <laughs> Back in my day, we had to wait 30 <laughs> seconds for a page to download. 30 seconds on dial-up. That wasn't Back any... Back in my day, we had to wait an hour just to connect to AOL. <gasps> AOL. Oh, Not AIM. No. AOL. AOL. Because... Look it up. Oh, Google. my God. Also, <laughs> you never had to deal with this noise. Oh my god. And then someone would pick up the phone to make a call. And you'd pick up the phone to make a call, remember? And it was dialing up to the internet, so all you'd hear is... Yeah. It's not fun. It sounded like what the inside of a kinky Terminator's head might be. <laughs> I must protect John Connor. That doesn't sound like that doesn't sound kinky, that just sounds glitchy. <laughs> yeah. There's a glitch in the matrix. I wonder if that's what a robot hears in their head. Oh my god, that's a big but <laughs> getting to the point. Track, but <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this up like really fast in this one say. We're gonna teach our kids the power of self-confidence, the power of being yourself. And if that means I have to go to school in Daisy Dukes <laughs> and a pink glittery shirt just so that way my daughter can laugh <laughs> or my son can feel good about himself if he turns out to be gay or transgendered, <laughs> then by golly, I have the sassiest walk and the finest <laughs> ass cheeks imaginable. I will make Daisy Dukes herself jealous. <laughs> I'm Morgan James Does Games. This is the clock. <laughs> <laughs> also, go buy Lace with Love stuff. <laughs> God, I love snowman mode. Snowman mode. That's what the hell that thing's called. <laughs> it's like a little snowman. Yeah, right, right, right. Focus on the car. <laughs> it likes you. Aw, thanks. Apparently, I'm, <laughs> I don't know what I know. Ah, now what? <laughs> ah, you bastard. <clears throat> Alright, so we just got done watching Beauty and the Beast, and it was amazing! It is. It's better than the Broadway <laughs> show. Because it has computer graphics. <laughs> the Broadway show may have computer graphics at this point. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Well, grab it. Make sure to take it off. All right. Okay, that's pretty sturdy. So, yeah. That was amazing. And I have no idea what the hell I'm going to talk about. Or yap about for that. <coughs> Not about my awful cop. Oh, no, no, no. We've both been, like, relatively sick. <laughs> yeah, really. Through relatives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotta love them. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna run inside and grab a water. Alright, uh... Do you want me to go with you? You can stay in the car. Yeah. Alright.
Right. You can if you want to. Uh, Alright. I mean, I'll deal with you. Okay. Yeah, just that of. <coughs> First started working for uh, Metro PCS. Oh, God. They were uh, paying me under the table. Mm hmm. So. Um, what I did with the first paycheck mm -hmm. was go to uh, Gators because I had never been night clubbing. <laughs> gotcha. I've never been clubbing. It's, I've been to only a few bars on a few occasions. Yeah, it's it's dumb. It, if you, it can be uh, fun sometimes. Oh yeah, I mean like the first time I went, uh, I was meeting up with this. A friend of mine, uh, Kim, not that Kim. Uh, I know <laughs> a crap ton of Kims. And only one version of that name scares this shit. <laughs> um, K-Y-M, huh? No, no. Uh, K, it was K-I-M. Oh. Yeah. Apparently, everyone. Uh, everyone yeah. thinks it's K-Y-M? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny. J-Y Jelly in the morning. <laughs> um, but... I met up with her and the conversation turned to what drugs we've all done. I was like, <laughs> no them. As I sat there like... Going and listing and listing and listing. Oh man. As they went, you know... I've been on PCP and LSD and this and that. All the acronyms. Yeah. MDMA. MDMA, ABC, CBS, <laughs> FLX. <laughs> F-U-C-K. <laughs> Wow. F-U-C-K. Anyone, anyone can get on F-U-C-K, and it's legal, and it's free. But you have to pay for it in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hold on, I'll be right back. Favorite part of the movie? Uh, my favorite part of the movie would be uh, probably the end. The end? Well, what specific every part? like every scene. Mm -hmm. is, is nothing camera, but uh, every scene was like almost okay. exactly like the uh, animated movie. It was. Oh my god, it was amazing. It was really good. Like yeah. there was, there's a lot of differences though. Yeah. There but was. they have those like key images and those key lines. Mm -hmm. Like, I like though that those lines that are like that we all know and love mm -hmm. aren't like the focus. No, they aren't. Like Lumiere has a lot of really quotable lines. Yeah. But they're subtly put in there, so you still get that effect, but not. Um, it's not like you're watching the same movie. What were you saying about they should have kept the beast the same? Like, you know how he was this hulking thing? Uh-huh. Like, for some weird reason or other, like, they will... They take these badass, big-ass, uh, monsters. And minimize them a little bit? Yeah, yeah minimize them. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know, though. I liked the way that they had him look. I liked it, actually, a lot. All right. All right. I, I know that, um, I've heard that criticism about Gaston, though. His chin wasn't not that funny. He's not smart. No, he um, is not. <laughs> yeah, I heard people have that criticism about Gaston, because he's not, like, completely over-exaggeratedly huge. And I'm like, I mean, for one, the proportions of Gaston to find on an actual man is, like, Impo and a man that needs to be able to act and sing. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty impossible because yeah. he's about as exaggerated as the original Barbie. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's but he's, he's one of my favorite parts. Oh my god. He nailed his part so he, well. He was Gaston. He was Gaston. I loved him and uh, um, God, I can't even remember his name at the moment. 
of the beast. Um, I love them both. They're good. <laughs> they actually have like really good musical talent in my opinion. Yeah. Like one of the things that popped up in my mind when I was music was the fact that uh Le Doof, Le Fou, Le Le Fou? yeah. That Le Fou had this whole entire thing organized with that like that musical number. Oh Gaston? Yeah. Uh-huh, like, the Gaston. No, does it like number? Gaston? Mm-hmm. And that got me thinking like, holy shit, this town at Riff- at this particular time has to cheer this man up whenever he's depressed. <laughs> Some serious shit must have gone down. <laughs> because you saw him like running around just being like, oh, okay guys, you know the part, you know the... <laughs> good point. Very good point. Like, what the hell are they afraid of? <laughs> then, what happens when guests... Well, you see what guests... What happens when guests don't get angry. He dies. He well, dies he, gets, he gets angry at Maurice. He does. Yeah. He punches the crap out of him. Huh? And then, again, LeFou's like, Hey, Gaston, remember the war? Yeah. Remember all the widows? Widows. <laughs> and then he, like, calls... Big old goofy grin. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, I'm sorry, my future father. <laughs> it works. It's like, fuck you, you're not marrying my daughter. I love, at the end, um, when <laughs> Josh Gadda, LeFou, he's like, Well, I was on Gaston's side, but he and I are in a bad place right now, so... <laughs> I'm switching sides. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yes. Yes, because in in the original, they beat the shit out of them. Yeah, but you know, I think I don't know if they did it. I don't know if they did it intentionally. Um, like when when they originally wrote the script, if they wanted him that part, or if they decided because of who they had playing him. Because you know who Josh Gad is, right? He did the voice of Olaf uh-huh. on Frozen. Yeah. And he's a really like well loved person like you watch him and you just are like you can't help but like smile when yeah. you look at him so it's like to see him be the bad guy yeah. I think probably breaks a lot of people's hearts <laughs> like told to be the minion of the bad guy I guess yeah. so I think they kind of did that on intentionally because everyone loves him so much but I could be wrong I seriously love him though that was oh, yeah. he was hilarious I love the fact that <laughs> G.A.S. T. I think there's another T in there somewhere. It's just now occurring to me that I'm illiterate and never had to spell it out loud. Gaston! <laughs> Gaston. Yeah, that was the best. Oh, yeah. <coughs> like, I love the fact that at the end, there were, there was, there were two interracial couples. And, yep. and Gaston hooked up with one of the uh, discount musketeers. LeFou? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was oh, the one sorry. that I think Not it was the one that was actually dressed up as a girl. Technically there was a transgender moment in the movie too. Yes. So you have I, I believe Disney even confirmed that LeFou is their first openly gay character mm-hmm. in the show. Yeah. Or in a movie or you know, portrayed in a Disney movie. Yeah. Okay, so first openly gay character, a transgender moment <sighs> when the guy gets Put in the um, one of the three musketeer guys. Yeah, they get put in the rest. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And he's all happy about it. And then you're right. At the end, there's what Lumiere and Plumet. Yeah. And then um. Uh. The, oh, the uh, maestro and um, Madame Le the, whatever. The, the wardrobe and the um, yeah. piano. Yes. Yeah. That's right. That's a very good point. Like, Did yeah. you catch the real subtle part um, with Mrs. Potts yes. and the guy from the village? Yes. Did you catch that he was the guy from the beginning that was saying he forgot something but couldn't couldn't remember what it was, but that he would remember it eventually? Yeah. Yeah. That was him. Oh. I loved it. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, God. Because all of the villagers forgot about all the people that from the past. And then Mr. Cogsworth was like, ah, uh, back into a clock, back into <laughs> back a clock. Into a clock. <laughs> uh, right. Ian McKellen, ah, oh, love him. So many big names and you didn't even realize it because they're all, and like, they're all housewares. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boop. Now oh, that's, oh, that's awful light. That is horrifying light. Um, I'll get better light. <laughs> better light. Better light is good. 
Not this creepy lighting. Oh, man. Like, that whole movie was absolute oddly. That's not really helping. There you go. Oh, for the love of God, stay. Stay. <laughs> That. Oh Jesus Christ! That, that is really, really bright. That is really. And good. we are like super white washed. Yeah. <laughs> well, that that's snowman mode for you. <laughs> snowman. That make you look like snowman. <laughs> yeah, bro. We're not melting yet. <laughs> Speaking of melting, Josh Gad. Oh. Ola. Lefou. Lefou is awesome. It's awesome. I need to send you this video I um, saw the other day of them all doing. they at the Jeff. Corden show? I think it was Jeff Corden. Oh, uh, on occasion. No, he. Well, I think it's, it's. It's. I think that's his name, Jeff Corden, right? Yeah. Late Late Show with Jeff Corden on CBS, maybe. Yeah, on CBS. Yeah, I think. I don't know, but he had um, some of the cast from um, from uh, Beauty and the Beast. He had Gaston LeFou and I believe the Beast, mm -hmm. and they were running out in front of the studio and dancing in the street in the crosswalk. Um, in while while the crosswalk was on, so while people are parked at their headlights, it was it was absolutely hilarious. I'll send oh it to you. God. It was funny. I, I love the fact that uh, like late night talk shows or talk talk shows in general that aren't complete weird fests. Um, he stole my husband, so I'm throwing the chair at him. <laughs> um, cherry, cherry, cherry. I used to watch that show constantly in, in <laughs> high school. Actually, middle school. That's okay. Um, I used to watch that too. But it was all that was on during the day in Basic 8 Cable. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Basic, basic, basic 8 Channels. Yeah. That's all you had. Yes. One life to live. What the fuck? <laughs> Come on. Married with children. That was actually really well, good. That was a good one. Yeah. Uh, dinosaurs. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. TGIF. Thank yes. God it's Friday. Oh my gosh, my dad. I made him record every single episode of Dinosaurs. I have a VHS somewhere with all of, well, several VHS with all of them on there. <laughs> he, Because it came on really late and I had to go to bed or something. I don't know. But he recorded every single one for me and I love that show. Oh my gosh. Not the mama, not, not, not the, the mama. mama. It's, at, it's on... Uh, Kids watching this right now are like... What the hell are they talking about? We're talking. We're, Google we're, it. We're, we're talking about shows Dinosaurs. before your time. Oh my gosh, that was the best show. Back for your back that before your awesome. Digimons and Pokemons and sa Saved by the Brats. What? Well, <laughs> well, have saved you? Um, but I was saying that I love how network. Ooh, there's a little thread thing on my finger. <laughs> Network shows are, you know, becoming more bolder with, like, their uh, segments. Mm -hmm. Like you said, uh, Jeff Gordon. Jeff, Jeff Cord Corden? Corden. Uh, Jeff Corden was, like, had a dance number going on during... I don't know if it was part of his segment or if it was just something they did. I just saw a clip on Facebook. I don't watch any of the late night shows. Uh, but but I don't know if it was for the show or just something they did. Yeah. I'm assuming it was probably on the show. Yeah, it was. I mean, like, overall. It was so funny, though. It was, that, it was just all hilarious. But it, that <coughs> movie was... Very good. Oh, my God. I think I started crying in the middle of it. <laughs> I was like... I cried a couple times. It, I always cry at you, Disney movies. Yeah. I think it's... A rule that Ashley has to cry at every single Disney movie she's ever seen. I, I, I think so. I cry when I take Summer to Disneyland, though, so. <laughs> so. I cry I whenever the Smurfs come on, which is why I don't watch it anymore. <laughs> so. Yeah, but that's crying for different reasons. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> crying because you're scared. It's, it's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> you're scared because there are a bunch of blue people and there's no water around. Did they there is a new Smurfs movie coming out. There is. I will not take you to see it. I will watch it to get over my fear of drowned people. <laughs> Which, true story, I actually did a scene from the called The Drowned Man. Mm -hmm. And this dude was paying other people to, like, or charging people to watch him fake drowning. Mm -hmm. And then he 
actually did drown and didn't come back up. Oh man! Yeah, it, it, it was a good script. It was actually That's a. That's like a um. The it, one it, movie it was about a, the magician. The, yeah. That has a scene like that. Oh yeah, where it's at the final scene and he does this grand finale. Yeah, and, and then, then his wife had drowned in a in, in an escape. Yeah. Yeah. And then. What is that movie? It's called The Magician. Is it called The Magician? It's called, is it, it as simple it, as that? It, it's actually called The Magician. <laughs> That's funny. That and, was, yeah. Yeah, it was. And then the big reveal that there were like hundreds of these tanks mm -hmm. of uh, <laughs> clones. And I was like, oh my god, that dude is not the original dude. He's probably the 400th dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the secret of the trick. Oh my god. That that bird in the cage scene. Oh my gosh! That was horrifying. That was so sad. It was awful. And then oh, the Tesla one was cool. Oh my god! That one was cool. And that was amazing. That one was cool. That was absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh my god! Well, that that's that. This next part, I'm not gonna record. So <laughs> I love you all, but not that much. <laughs> Go watch Beauty and the Beast. Go it's watch really, Beauty and the really Beast. Good. It is absolutely amazing. Very I have a booger funny. in my nose that's not leaving me alone. Okay. <laughs> so subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow Liz with Love. Hit her up on Instagram. Buy her awesome, awesome stuff. <laughs> She's making rompers for teenage boys that are that's the size of swimsuits. That's not true. That's not true at all. <laughs> She's making me sparkly leggings. Especially sparkly in the ass part. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video It means a lot to me that I have such a supporting and awesome fan base such as yourself So if you like this video hit that like button If you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button And as always I will see you like a beast in the next video Hey! <laughs>